Welcome, friends and students and community members to our Financial Literacy Festival at the Edinburgh Public Library. I'm Congressman Ruben Hinojosa. I wish I could be with you today, but the 113th Congressional Session has just started in Washington, D.C., and we have a lot of different issues to resolve. It's fantastic to have so many people with you there, ready to take the reins of their fiscal futures. Thank you to the entire staff of the Sakula Memorial Library for your initiative and dedication. Libraries are a fantastic resource for families, and I encourage you to take advantage of them more often. Thank you to Dr. Ida Acuna Garza and the South Texas Literacy Coalition for working so hard to spread the word about literacy and financial literacy in particular your decades of being a champion for books have had a dramatic ripple effect throughout our community. I would also like to thank our friends from the nonprofit and banking industries involved in today's festival. Your involvement today and your varied financial literacy curriculums, trainings, and initiatives are positive proof that you are invested deeply in this community, and for that, I thank you. Studies consistently show that a significant number of Americans have inadequate knowledge about concepts related to personal finance and basic economics, including budgeting, managing credit, and debt problems. Credit reports, credit scores, and mortgage loan terms can be overly confusing. Many Americans do not participate in the mainstream banking system at all and instead rely on check cashers and payday lenders. I believe strongly that improving financial literacy in the United States might help address these issues and prevent a future credit crisis. This is why, along with my former colleague, Congresswoman Judy Biggert of Illinois, a Republican, I co-founded and currently co-chair the Financial and Economic Literacy Caucus in the House of Representatives here in Washington, D.C., specifically to shine a light on these issues on Capitol Hill. When the Great Recession hit and the credit bubble burst, a lot of American families realized how vulnerable they were due to excessive debt. Wealth evaporated and it hit Latino families the hardest. Medium household wealth among Hispanics fell 66 percent from 2005 to 2009. The percentage drop in household wealth was the largest among all racial and ethnic groups, according to the Pew Research Center. For the first time, a lot of people demanded more knowledge about financial products they used and more transparency from financial service providers. No one wants to be blindsided twice. Our community is one that works hard and saves and is not extravagant. We just need the right information and to connect with the available financial resources, many of whom are in attendance today. It will take our entire community to reach out and make those connections. Again, thank you to the team at South Texas Literacy Coalition and Sakula Memorial Library for taking the initiative to hold this important summit in conjunction with my congressional office. And thank you for the opportunity to address you all this morning. Have a great day.